On this episode, we talk garage doors. So behind me here, we've got a panel lift garage door. Now, as you can see with the panel lift, it's sectioned into four different panels. So you've got one, two, three, four different panels. Let's go inside and I'll show you how it looks from the inside. Now, on the inside, you can see here, here's the four separate panels, just like so. Now over here, you can see each panel has its own roller. They've come around this way, you can probably get a little bit closer in there. Each panel has its own roller. It's got a track right here. As it lifts up, each panel follows it through and goes up right there. Now, we've got one open over here. Come around here, Nath. I want you to show them how this rolls down. Follow those tires down as I close the door. So you can see, one panel comes down, two panels come down, Three panels come down, four panels come down, all the way closed. Same thing on the way up, each panel, panel lift, all the way up, and open. Now, these are actually um, <laughs> remote control, sorry, they're remote control doors. You don't actually have to lift them by hand, but they do work electronically. Behind me here now, we've got a roller door. Now, as you can see, different to a panel lift, this will actually roll up and form into a coil. You got that there, Nath? So, as I lift it up, just like so. You can see it rolling up into a coil. All right, let's step outside. I'll show you what this looks like from the outside. Now, this looks different to a panel lift door. A panel lift door had four different panels. This is just one piece that rolls up on itself. Okay, down here now, I want to show you the step. So we've got a step here to help water from getting in, and also, too, we've got the weather shield. So you can see this plastic weather shield that comes in, and when you lock it, it stops all the water and wind from getting in. All right, now as I open it, I want you to catch the track. So you can see exactly how different to the panel lift this is. This has got one track. That gets it there, rolls all the way up, just like so. Now you may ask why we have a panel lift door, why we have a roller, every, ro why we have a panel lift and a roller roller door. So there's a couple of different reasons, and the main reason why it's on on this setup for is, as you can see here, I want to step back a little bit just so I can show you. As you can see here, right, this panel lift door, when it's lifted all the way up. By the time you put the motor on it, it comes back nearly three quarters of the way of the garage. Now, this has a drive-through garage. Now, if we went and put a panel lift door here, it would open up and they would hit each other. So this roller lift is good for you know, tight spaces when you can't actually have a panel lift open. Now, there's not only panel lift and roller doors, there's quite a whole different types of doors, different colors, different textures, different finishes. Now, if you're having trouble choosing your garage door, or you know any people that are having trouble choosing theirs, tag them in the comments below, or I'd love to know what you chose your garage door, why you chose your garage door. Now, I know a lot of you have been watching and not sharing, so guys, take a minute now, share the video, let everyone else know what we're talking about and let's start the conversation. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.